I forgot my glove. I tell you what, when things get back to normal and you know there's more stability and everything, I'm gonna build a studio for my channel, you know, like with the studio lighting and maybe even a green screen and just like a dedicated studio for my channel. But until then, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do videos. You know right now I'm living in temporary housing because I just don't want to commit to anything long term until things get back to normal and I'm actually back in the office and everything. So until then, I'm just going to be living in temporary and short term housing until things get back to normal. So it makes it a little bit hard to do videos because I don't have all my equipment. My light broke and I don't want to buy another light until, you know, I have a more permanent or long term studio solution. So I might be doing a lot more of these videos outside these days, what I call the musing videos where I just kind of talk about things. I'm at the golf course right now, I thought this would be a good place to do it. But the topic of this video is about sports from a non-sports betting perspective. So sports have really been back since July 23rd and then we had college football and NFL this past weekend. And in my opinion, it's just not the same. And what I've learned over these past month or so, especially this past weekend, is how much a crowd makes a game. And without a crowd, the games just don't feel important. That's my issue. It's like, they don't feel important. It reminds me of these like college basketball uh, tournaments that they have in November where they pick like four teams that don't have very good traveling fan bases and bring them to some exotic location. And then you're watching the game on TV and there's nobody in the stands. That's what it reminds me of, kind of. It just doesn't feel important. We need crowds back very badly. Like, college football, I, I know the matchups weren't great this past weekend, and they're not going to be great this weekend, but it just wasn't the same. And NFL, it just wasn't the same. I'm a big Stars fan, right, in hockey, and they're in the Stanley Cup Finals, and I don't care. I do not care. Because the crowd, the crowd is what makes the Stanley Cup Finals. You know, it, it, it's just, it's, I'm, I'm not saying it's hard to watch, but it's like... It just doesn't feel important, and therefore that takes a lot of the fun out of it. It's like professional wrestling. Professional wrestling is probably the one, I'm not, I'm not saying it's a sport, but just play along with me here. It's the one sport that needs a crowd to really have the impact that it has. You know, without a crowd, wrestling is, it's not fun. And you could tell watching wrestling when they had no crowds, it just wasn't the same. But that's the case for pro sports as well. The, the atmosphere and everything, especially for college sports, the atmosphere is very important. And they just don't have that, even with the partial crowds. So we need crowds back. I've never really been a big NFL watcher, and it has nothing to do with the kneeling or anything, you know. I just have never really been that big of a fan of it, but... This Drew Brees versus Tom Brady game this past week, you know, could you imagine what that game would have been like with the crowd? With the New Orleans Saints home crowd in the Superdome? Instead, we got crickets. It's just not the same, you know. If I, if I, if I were in charge, if I had the magic button, I would just say... If you're afraid of getting COVID, don't go. If you're afraid of spreading COVID to somebody, don't go. Otherwise, let people have personal responsibility and do what they want to do and live their lives. If they want to go to a sporting event, let them go. That's just me though. Some people might think that's selfish, but that's just how I see it. I just feel like personal responsibility is a lost art in this country. More and more people want to have politicians tell them how to run their lives instead of themselves, you know? Personal responsibility. The point of this video is just to say the lack of crowds just makes it not as fun to watch. Even if you have a bet on it, it's just not as fun to watch. It doesn't feel important. We'll see what happens in a couple weeks when the SEC and some of the bigger matchups in college football start happening, but we had some big NFL matchups this past weekend and those are pretty stale, so this, this video is basically my plea. Come on, let's get some crowds back. Bigger crowds, not partial crowds, full crowds. Well, that's all I have to say about that. I got a college football picks video coming tomorrow. I'm gonna try to live stream it for the first time, do it live. That's one of the reasons I want a green screen for my studio and everything, so I can like live stream with a good webcam or camera and everything so it looks good. But yeah, until tomorrow, this is Sports Betting Truth, signing off.